Space Jelly Reviews here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie action figures. They both came in two packs, but I decided to review them all in one video because it would be easier and they're all kind of the same figure anyways. So I'm going to start off the video with a comparison. This is all of them roughly compared to each other, even though they're all in poses. It should be a enough to gauge their height. So I'll start off with Leonardo. I'll compare him to a few other of the movie figures. This is him next to Shredder. Next to Splinter. Pretty decent height. And Casey Jones. I think this is um this is a good height. This is them next to the second movie. Super Shredder. Move it back so you can see it. I think uh, he should be a little bit taller, but I think it's fine. You can fudge it. I also do a few comparisons with their toy lines, so other oh, toy lines. This is Leonardo next to Hercules. All the Ninja Turtles are about the same height, so it shouldn't be too different. This is the Page Punchers Batman from the first wave, I think. I think this one was the Batman who was in the Batman Ninja Turtles comic books. Goku. And uh, I don't think you're going to be able to fudge this one in. The, the Ninja Turtles are very tall compared to him. But they are 7 inch scale, so. And... Thanos. Obviously, I don't know if it's going to work with this either. Thanos is very short compared to how he should be. I also wanted to uh, compare it to a normal DC Multiverse toy. So here's Azrael Batman. Decent size. I think they work good with McFarlane toys. Not really so good with other toy lines they do stand I did say 7 inch scale but let's get him straight he stands uh, roughly six and a half inches so they're not 7 inch toys but they are 7, seven inch scale I start off with Leonardo go with the aesthetics first all these figures are painted very well because NECA usually does a good job with paint you can see a gradient in his shell the straps all look nice the colors are muted which is a, a nice touch I actually like that He comes with his uh, sheaths for his, not katanas, I forgot what they're called, but I don't think they're katanas. You can see shading, different hues of green. He has these painted spots on him. They all have uh, the same sculpted veins, I think, and, mus and uh, muscles. They're all the same in that aspect, like uh, the legs and arms. They mostly change in the torso and head. All the heads are different. This is Leonardo's head. We'll look at Raphael. This is his head. They don't come with any alternate heads. At least not in the f in the two packs. I actually am um, looking at it now. They do not have the same arms. Yeah, so I think that Raphael and I think Donatello both share the same arms. They do. Leonardo 
and Michelangelo have different had the same arms too. But I don't think they really change anything in the legs. Raphael comes with his things. He has loops for his side. They fit in nicely. They're not really too loose or too tight. Nothing really on the back of his shell. It is different than Leonardo's though. Mostly the same paint job. The same sort of styling. He also has the spots all over him. On his legs, too. Donatello. Same thing as Raphael with the arms. Same sort of paint job. He does look a little bit more gray, but this could just be a variation in the production. The same thing. Different back. Different shell. Be careful with these. These are actual, like cloth ribbons that you put the bow staff in but they come undone very easily so be careful with it Michelangelo he doesn't actually have any loops you stick the nunchucks into the sides here if you can see that but the sides are uh, bendy wires so it shouldn't be too hard and just fell off. Accessories. They came with these two hands. Raphael came with these specifically. They're for holding his side, but you can use all the hands on any of the Ninja Turtles. So I'll consider them accessories for all of them. Two thumbs up hands. To uh, relaxed, or they could also be used to grab things. They are slightly different. And two open hands. They all came with alternative bandanas. They're all the same thing. They also came with windswept ones. I already have the windswept ones on a few of them. You can have them like on the left side or the right side. They all came with the same things. And they all came with uh, slices of pizza. So if you have four of them, you can make half a pie. All right, since the articulation is the same on all of them, I'm gonna be uh, doing it with Raphael. So, the articulation, I'm pretty sure that they do have a double ball peg in the head. Maybe it's a single, but I don't know if you could, I don't know how to really tell unless you pop the head off. He does have a lot of range, they all do. Ball hinge shoulders, or just hinge shoulders, They're not really balls because there's no bicep swivel. Unhindered by movement, about horizontal. Elbows, there are these softer elbow pads on there, and they do flex a little bit, but they kind of obstru obstruct the uh, articulation. You can't really bend it past a little less than 90 or it might just be 90 degrees you can rotate it at both ends this can help with uh poses they all have hinges on their wrists they rotate they all also have this uh diaphragm joint it doesn't really do much i guess you can just use it for some adjustment posing but it's there, so. The legs are not the newer ones. These are the hinges instead of ball pegs. So they seem to work fine. They're not too tight or too loose, but they could get too tight or too loose over time. Thigh swivel, it's really tight on them. 
the knees have the same thing as the elbows he has knee pads and they do flex these don't really obstruct the articulation as much though the top part of the knee rotates the ankles move up kind of far down pretty far ankle rocker and you can use the top joint over here to uh, rotate the ankle rocker they all have the same articulation I guess I should te I should check uh, Leonardo's to see if his shoulders are the same seems to be the same yeah it's the same so I think that these figures are pretty uh, decent they're very good actually for the price point thanks for watching special thank you for getting the previous video to over 100 views we'll be trying to do this more often all feedback is welcome see ya bye